Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion we're off to a township called Tullarook. Tullarook is a town in the Shire of Mitchell, local government area in central Victoria, Australia. The town is 97.7 kilometres or 57 miles north of the state capital Melbourne and 10 kilometres south of Seymour. It is on the railway line from Melbourne and on the Hume Highway. Tullarook is located at the foothill of the magnificent Tullarook Ranges. The land was once central to the territories of the Goulburn Aboriginal tribes. In those language, Tullarook means call of the wattled birds. History tells us that one of the first documented homesteads in Tullarook was constructed in 1841 or 1842 when the run was tenured by the Jameson brothers. Tullarook Post Office opened on the 1st of April 1861. The town is known in Australia for the colloquialism, things are crook in Tullarook, believed to date to the Great Depression and unemployed travellers seeking work. The phrase became the basis of a song composed by Jack O'Hagan, things is crook in Tullarook. And these are the words to the popular song with the rural and romantic notions back in the day. The cows won't milk, the chooks won't lay, the bunnies fill their tummies on grass all day. Me horse is lame and dam's gone dry, every time I go to laugh I start to cry. Oh, things is crook in Tullarook, me Sheila's turned me down. Now most likely that was not the best rendition, but that's my effort um, with the actual words that were used for the song. Continuing on with the history, the main northeast railway opened through the town in 1872 along with the local railway station and a branch railway to Mansfield was started in 1883, extended to Mansfield in 1891 and Alexandra in 1909 before being closed on the 18th of November 1978. The town does have an active railway station today on the V-Line route to Melbourne and to the north of the state and into New South Wales. Tullarook came to public attention in 1880 with the discovery of a recluse living in the ranges nearby. Dubbed a wild man of Tullarook, emigrant Henry Nilsson was arrested and jailed, causing quite a sensation in the region but it doesn't give a reason to why. Also worth noting is the industrialist Isington Lewis settled near Tullarook on his property called Landscape in his later years until his death in 1861. Isington Lewis was a prominent Australian industrialist. He was also the Director General of the Department of Munitions during World War II. Today, Tullarook hosts an abundance of wildlife and farming properties. The small town offers country hospitality with a super friendly general store and cafe and a local hotel or pub where the publican is well informed of the local history. Tullarook is a starting point of the Great Victorian Rail Trail. This well-known walking, cycling and horse riding trail that extends for 134 kilometres to the picturesque Victorian countryside. There is a Tullarook Farmers Market at the Mechanics Institute Hall, which is held on the first Sunday of every month, except January. It is a popular event for the township. The market provides delicious, fresh and local produce in a relaxed country setting. The town is also home to a cricket club competing in the Seymour District Cricket Association. And without further ado, let's check out the sights and sounds of Tullarook.
Yeah, I'll watch him. Hi. go. I hope that doesn't mean anything. I was just curious how loud it is. That's pretty loud. I've heard louder ones, but that's definitely pretty loud.
Well, I'll just jump in here really quick and just let you know that the maintenance being done to the pool uh, will have it all ready to go for the summer season, which will start probably next month. Now I'll just jump in here pretty quickly. Uh, the meal I had was terrific. It's a, it's a pub meal and it was well presented and I was fortunate enough to have the publican uh, serve it to me. I sat down with him, his name was Tim and he very much is the local historian even though he probably doesn't realise he is. Uh, he had a lot of stories to tell and was very factual about the history of Tullarook. All credits and references and any information I've provided on this video will be in the description below and hopefully I'll have some links there to make it all easy for you. Uh, if you did like the video by all means click on that like button or that thumbs up icon and please consider subscribing. Subscribing really doesn't cost you one cent and it helps out this channel immensely. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.